What's up guys, Brad here. Deb here. And we're out at Piney Grove today working on our back fence line. And what are we about to do, Deb? Well, what we're going to do right now is we're going to finish these H braces that we started last weekend. So the posts are in the ground, three foot sunk, and now we need to put in part of the H brace and then the wire, right? That's right, we got the two vertical posts in. They are eight inches around and eight foot tall. We sunk them three foot deep. They've had a couple weeks to settle. We've had a couple rains. And now we're gonna put in the horizontal portion of the H brace. So bear with us today. We've got an extra helper. We've got our Brittany Spaniel Bella with us. So she may make this a little bit more, more sporty, a little bit more interesting. No, she will make it more challenging. And as a reminder, we are not a how-to channel. We are a how-we-do channel, but these H braces have worked out for us across our property. So we're gonna do two here on the back fence line. So let's get to it. Let's do it. For tools and materials that you need to do an H brace, we got a chainsaw. We don't have the posts exactly eight foot apart because sometimes if you try and put posts eight foot apart, you end up putting them eight foot two inches apart and then your eight foot long H brace won't work. So we're gonna have to cut maybe six or eight inches off the horizontal. We got some bracing wire here. You can get this at a hardware store or a farm and seed store. That's where we got this from. And this will be used to tie all three of the posts together so that they'll be monolithic and sturdy so that you can stretch your fence wire. Or at least you can pull your fence wire and attach it to the post and it won't loosen when you let off the tension. But what we're gonna use to tighten the brace wire is these ratchet tighteners for fences. I'll show you how that's done. And then we just have general hand tools other than that. We got a hammer to pound the staples and we have some pliers. Uh, we have an adjustable wrench, which will turn this ratchet. You put the wire in there and turn it and it'll tighten the wire. And I think that will do it. It's not a lot of tools. It's not a real complicated process, but I'm sure we'll make it complicated. First thing I'm gonna do is just measure up. I should have about a five foot tall post and that's what I have here. And probably put the H brace at about the three foot mark. So I'm just gonna put a mark here. I'm only gonna mark one side because I want the horizontal level. So the distance between here and the top of the H brace is gonna be different because we're on a little bit of an incline. Next thing we'll do is measure in between the posts. So I'll need Deb, my lovely assistant, to hold one end of the tape measure. So she's holding it on the inside. We wanna get this inside dimension. It's gotta be pretty close so you don't spread the post or have a gap and have to pull the post together. These posts are plumb. It's called 92 and a quarter. All right, next thing we'll do, we'll get Deb in here and just hold this up and make sure that I cut it correctly. Go the inside, right? Yep, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Okay. Okay, we got it level. We're gonna pull the, pull the horizontal back out and then drill the holes for the pins. So there's many ways to attach the horizontal to the vertical. And they make these pins where you put the pin just a little bit into the vertical post and then drill a hole in the end of the horizontal post and then fit them together. But what we do is we just go ahead and drill all the way through the post and we use these big metal galvanized spikes. We marked where this H brace is gonna go. Just gonna take a level, make sure that our drill bit is level. drill won't do it. I've got another one. All right, I got another drill. And try this again. This one should have plenty of torque. This is an auger bit, so it tends to pull itself through the wood. So you just gotta stop it, put it in reverse to clean out the hole or else it'll just bog the drill down. So these are the spikes I was talking about, just some big galvanized nails. And uh, they'll go the other way, but we'll show. They go all the way through the post and that much will go into the H brace. So we'll get these started on this side, right there. We'll do the same thing on the other post. The next step is installing the horizontal post. So for this one, Deb's gonna hold one side, I'm gonna hold the other. We each have a hammer. We already have the spikes in place. And once we get it marked up with the lines, we can both just start pounding it in. And all we need to do is just start it a little bit and then she can let go. You got it lined up with your marks? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, we want this to be in center, in line, this horizontal with the vertical. Get it on our marks. And then this should go right in the center of the horizontal. Look at that girl. <laughs> Just wearing that Just spike look out. Look at me go. There's oh, an off chance that that's actually moved a little. Hey, see how far it's come in. I've got the sledgehammer as well. And a lot of times we'll back it up with the sledgehammer. And uh, that just keeps the post from moving. But you can, you can put these in with a sledgehammer as well. 
Oh, oh, so he didn't give me the sledgehammer. He gave me the skinny scrawny hammer. All right, guys, Deb gets the sledgehammer. She's still got a little bit to do on hers. I'm an equal opportunity employer. My wife wants to hit something with a sledgehammer and it's not me, we're gonna let her hit this nail with a sledgehammer. It's a little heavier, so maybe I shouldn't have given him a hard time about not giving me the sledgehammer. Thirty minutes later. <sighs> All right, Dad, what do you got to say about a sledgehammer? It's a little heavy. It was a little heavy. <laughs> but it was kind of fun, but it's a little heavy. But my, I think my elbow hurts. <laughs> I put in the staple in the top of this post, and there's one just like it at the bottom of the back post. And what we want is we want the bracing wire to be at an angle. And I think of it as like an alligator. I want the alligator to eat the long side of the fence that I want to keep tight. So we're going to take the bracing wire from the top down to the bottom. And we're going to put the ratchet on this side because the fence wire will go on that side. I've pulled out about 16 feet of wire because we're eight feet across here. We're going to have wire on both sides. I've run it through the staples and now I'm going to attach the ratchet. I'm just going to run this through some wire, run it through there double. Now I'm not an expert on wire knots. I figure if you twist it enough, it should never come loose. And as you put tension on this, it'll tighten up this knot. So I'll wrap this with real close coils. I just put a little hook on it like that so it doesn't catch your skin or your clothes and that should hold it. And then a critical part is don't cut your wire too short. So I'll take the end I just cut and I'll thread it through the ratchet. I'll make a loop. And then there's two holes in the ratchet in the center. Put that in that second hole like that. Tighten it up. They make a wrench for this but I use an adjustable wrench. Make sure I turn it the right way. Tighten it up. Now you can definitely over tighten this and break the wire. You want this wire and this wire to have equal tension and it's got to work its way around the post and through the staple. So just kind of work it a little. Don't try and get all your tension out at once. And if this loosens up over time, you can always come back and re-tighten it. And it will loosen up over time as this wire stretches and these knots and everything get a, it's tighten up. But right there is pretty good. My wire creates that alligator mouth so I can keep the tension going up the hill. And then we'll do another H brace down the hill. Now that I know where the wire is gonna be, I'll put a staple on each side here just to keep the wire from moving. If it ever loosens over time, I'm not gonna drive this staple all the way in, just like that, it just keeps that wire there. Do the same thing on this side, same thing at the bottom. I'm no mathematician, but here's my theory. My theory is that the wire tension wants to pull this post that way, but it can't because this wire is hooked to the bottom of that post. So the tension's trying to pull it that way, trying to lean that post, but it can't because the bottom of this post is keeping the top of that post from moving. Well, what's keeping this post from moving? This horizontal brace is hooked up to that, so you have two opposing forces. By the bottom pulling against that top and the tension going that way, these posts are trying to come together, but they can't because of this horizontal brace, and that's how you're able to keep your fences tight. And that is how we put in H braces here at Piney Grove. So what do you think, Deb? Got anything to add? No, I think it goes fairly quickly. Including digging the holes and everything, you might take a half hour or so to put in a complete H brace. So it's not that bad at all. Looks really good when it's done and it will keep your, not only keep your fence tight, but it also kind of looks cool down here so you don't just have T-posts coming all the way down your property. But that's all we've got for today's video. If you would, please click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share with your friends. That would sure help out our channel. But otherwise, that's all we've got out here at Piney Grove. And remember, life is short. Tractor hard. Life is short. Tractor hard. Take care, y'all. Take care.